This is where we're going to look at Oklahoma versus Nebraska and just how they absolutely trounced them. Number one thing for Oklahoma is that they out physical Nebraska on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Obviously, moved them and did it all day and made everything real easy as far as the run game, and then that led to the RPOs and different things. We'll take a look at it quickly. We're going to run through some of their base runs, some of the looks at the head as far as absolutely dominating Nebraska in this game. The very first look we have right here is Oklahoma running inside zone that direction in a trips left set right here. If you're looking at it, as far as just the schematics of it, this guy actually rolls down. You're going to take care of basically five in the box with these five linemen. He actually comes in, he blocks right there, blocks right there. And this guy does a really good job being extremely physical. He's able to take care of that guy. We'll play, see what happens. Boom, catch it downhill, and you can see what happens. This guy gets absolutely mashed. Double team right there up to that backer in this mid zone, inside zone. And then the other thing is at the point of attack, he comes and makes a great block there as well. He's square. He's got his hips low. He's trying to pin that guy, moves him, just takes him where he wants to go. Running back makes a cut off of him. Great double team here. That's the main thing that I really like about this. They're hip to hip. They're working up to this backer. He takes over, tackles, slides off, pins that guy. Maybe keep those hands a little bit inside. Right there, really physical, getting movement. Now gashing those guys. Again, setting the tone on the edge as well. You can see these guys really doing a great job working. Now, obviously, you don't want to have that, that jersey get pulled at all, but you can see just the physicality that Oklahoma's bringing right here. This look right here, they motion the fullback in, and he ends up being a C-gap fitter. But again, once they motion in, you can see what happens. They slide 4-2 box right there. So they're going to take, again, inside gap. Looks like these guys are doubling out right there. This guard and tackle are supposed to be working there. This guy actually inside sets that instead of outside stepping, getting hip to hip, and then working that out. And a double there up. Now this tackle, he's a B-gap sifter right here. If this guy's the B-gap player, he's going to just watch that guy as far as he can. Let him come there, kick whatever it shows up, whether it's a linebacker, outside backer, whatever it is. Now if he goes C-gap, now he's the B-gap fitter. Just run that alley right there up to that linebacker. We'll look and see what happens. There's the motion. Ball gets snapped. Double right there. Not great by the left tackle. I think he probably stepped the wrong foot. They didn't get hip to hip, so they could work that. There's the double. He gets up real quick. You can see he just puts a hip on him, boom, just make sure he can move that guy horizontally. Now he's working up to that mic. And if you look at this backside end, he's sitting there in that B gap. Good, great. Throw him in that gap, run him as far as he can. See that strong arm right there by the right tackle? He just absolutely throws that guy that direction. So that's exactly what you want. That's a lot of horizontal movement. Here's fullback does a good job of staying tight. There's the C gap defender. Try to kick him if you can. Throw him right there, puts his outside shoulder on it. Now you're running vertical right there. That's what you want. Move people horizontally. Kick people out with the guy that's a C-gap fitter. And now we're bursting. We're vertical. Now we're on the safeties. And we're rolling again. Being extremely physical there for Oklahoma. Running that ball downhill with a little bit of motion. Started in a 2 by 2 then ended up in a twin set. It's probably one of my favorite runs. And we've done some videos on this in the past that guys from the Art Browse tree kind of like to use. Where there are three receivers over here, so it's unbalanced. They're in a twin set. Two back set, you're always ready for that zone base, which is just ISO, that's all it really is. But right here, it looks like they're trying to go zone base to the left. So basing, doubling right there on the A gap up. Base, base, base right there. Now he's gonna try to sift for that linebacker and we'll see what happens right here. You can see almost a free release there by the guard up to that backer. He's trying to sift through. There's a lot of trash, a lot of bodies. This nose ends up coming off of that center. So right there, he just takes them, but again, Zone base, playing extremely fast, getting these guys outside the box. And right there, just a big running back, using a head of steam, using that momentum. We're going to hit that and fall forward. Easy gain right there on the second forward, about 9 or 10. And that's what they're looking for right there. Get the box light with, with different formations and then hit the thing downhill. Basically run an old school ISO, let your running back hit it with a head of steam. Another look here, twin set, 4-2 box. You got these guys split out wide. One high look. This is exactly what you're looking for. He's out of the box, so he's really a non-factor. You can take care of him with bang eights and stuff. But anyway, they're running basically zone base that direction. So we're going to double that A-gap up. Base, base on the three-tech and the five-tech. Base right there. And he's going to go into that wide alley to ISO that backside linebacker. So boom, downhill. You can see that fullback coming across. Big alley right there to get into it. Now he's able to come up, put that outside shoulder. Boom, kick that guy, run vertical. As you can see, just that wash that they have right there, looking just like inside zone, but again, basing that in so he can't dictate what's going on, whether they want to be a quarterback pull or whatever. So right there, base those guys. Don't let them dictate anything to you. ISO that linebacker 
take care of him. And now you again, rolling, extremely physical there, moving people, getting downhill. Now the safety has zero chance with your shoulder pad square on a safety. With that much space, no chance to make a play. Walks in right there, absolutely mashes them. And an easy walk in there for Oklahoma. No look here at zone base for Oklahoma. It's time they're going that direction. Double there, base, 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 ISO right there. Second and two, the Baylor guys are always going to say, hey, get your first down. And, you know, everybody kind of talks about that's a good down and distance to take shots. Art Browse say, hey, get your first down. Don't play around. Just hit that thing downhill. Make sure you get another set of downs. And that's what they do right there. Second and two, getting about two or three yards, running that zone base, trying to keep everybody widened out. Now, if you're seeing that guy rolling into the box right there, out of this twin set, now it's going to be time to go with some kind of a slant fade, maybe a bang eight, something like that to take advantage of that guy rolling into the box. Here's a look here at zone base. This time out of 10 person, they stay that way. So what they're going to be doing is taking four down and the mic. Quarterback should be responsible for these other overhang guys right here. And as you can see, as the ball snapped, boom, downhill, good double team right there getting up. Here's the unblocked guy in the box. And if you're looking at the slot receiver right here, he's open on that hitch. So right there, kind of the progression of that is going to be eventually to get at your eyes right here on this. So now if he steps into the box, you can throw that hitch right there for a free first down and get him to widen out. But at this time and place for Oklahoma, they're handing that ball off with an unblocked guy in the box and saying our guy is better than your guy. And that's what happens right there. Break, broken tackle, creating explosive play there. Another run play here from Oklahoma. Again, running GH counter. So down block, down block, gap hinge, kick, trying to make it look like inside zone, going to the right. He goes one, two, three, and then he falls right there with the guard. So again, if you just look, we're looking right here from the tackle to the center, it looks like basically inside zone right. They're gonna work up to that backer. And this guy's stepping down like it's kind of like inside zone. Right here's the guard pulling the kick. And right there does a good job, puts his outside shoulder on it right there. Here's the fullback. We can run that back and see, because he's going same side. You can see him, he goes one, two, Right there, and then now he's working back so he can get that front side linebacker. Running back was just downhill, paced himself, shoulder pad square. Once they get the kick, now we've got a burst. Right there, gets through that alley. And now again, in open space, playing ball right there on the counter, being way more physical than Nebraska. Here's a run here for Oklahoma. Looks like their old line may have pushed it, and maybe somebody didn't quite get the communication right here. As you see it being played, they're getting a double team on that DN. It's a three front, so they're going to work up in the box right here. These guys should be working there up or maybe there with the tackle and guard up to right there, staying five on five in the box. But instead, they work there, the double team up to the mic, and then that guy's also working to the mic. So right there, miscommunication there by Oklahoma. They ended up having two guys going for the same linebacker, whether it was a push or whether he's just working there. I'm really not sure. But me personally, I'd probably say, hey, take the five in the box with everybody so wide and we'll take care of these other guys with the quarterback. And that's what they do right here. Downhill right here, you can see Gabriel's eyes go right there to the outside linebacker. Outside linebacker is stepping up. This safety is so far off. Even if he was tight, we're saying, hey, we are going to win with that receiver. If you can't win, we're going to get a new guy. And right there, so much space right there. He steps in playing the run. Box isn't right. Good patience here by Gabriel, letting his guy work. Now they're getting a little bit of pressure in there, but letting his guy work on that bang eight. Those are right in that window after everybody steps up. Put it on his body. Good catch right there. Pretty good coverage as far as breaking on it, even though you're playing way off. But right there, the ball on his body. With the ball being on his body right there, he's able to protect himself, feel comfortable for that catch. Explosive play right there. Trying to keep those outside linebackers from sliding into the box to play the run. Here's a look here of Oklahoma running. Again, their zone base. So again, they're doubling right there. Up, base, base, base here, backside. And they're running a slant here. Not real sure where Gabriel's eyes are, if they're on that linebacker, if they're on the safety. Uh, but right here, on this, I'd be reading this backer, especially if I knew the safety was going to go to the top whenever they press over here to the single. Whenever you have a really good ball player right there and you know that they don't want to go one-on-one -on -one vertical and that guy's not going to come down, he's going to press. He'll get over the top to help out. So right here, I think that's what they saw is that they're going to get that. And right there, he just slants into that window. Safety's playing way off. And this linebacker is stepping in, which that's a really easy read right there. He's obviously going to be in the box. Boom, pull it, let your guy work. Again, put it on his body. Real accurate ball there by Gabriel. Gives him a chance to run. Puts it on his body. And now that's an easy first down on a second and 13 right there on just throwing a slant back side with those safeties playing high. Uh, so, again, good, easy throw and catch. Good job there by Levy uh, finding a way to get his guys open. Some of the Art Browse guys really like this play as far as the double pass. 
But some of the details are really intricate right here. Again, the full slide here, running back goes right there, and now he's going vertical. We're stacking it up. He's got to do a great job protecting him right there, take care of your guy. Step up a little bit from the quarterback spot. You got to step up. He's got to back up, so now it's a lateral. Flips it to him. And right here, you can see the running back. He just kind of paces it, and now he goes. One thing you'd really be looking for is if we can get this safety off the hash here. You don't really probably don't want a one-high look. You want that guy off the hash, and then these guys over here to the short side being pretty aggressive there. So right there, the main thing that I'd be looking for is, hey, is that safety away? If safety's away, cool, let's run that play. We're going to feel good about it. Flips it out there. Well, as soon as he sees that, everybody knows, hey, it's over. Just got to throw and catch, got to execute. Boom, get the ball out of your hand quickly because everybody's converging right there. Great job just giving him a catchable ball. Running back makes the play wide open. So, again, a few things you're going to want to look for uh, right here before you – you're just not going to run this willy-nilly. Don't want to run that against a one-high look. Don't want to run it against uh, a safety that's kind of working that direction. You want to see – make sure those guys are low. That safety is not in the middle of the field. He's kind of away. And that's what they have right there. Obviously, over here they're running a slot fade or some kind of a smash, trying to get that safety to, to widen out a little bit more as well. Another look here of an RPO. They actually got trips to the boundary. They're stacking their guys right here. And the RPO is the screen here to this guy. So if you're looking at it, you've got two guys out here to block. So he's going to block one. He'll block two. So blocking the most dangerous guys right there, blocking the corner, blocking the outside backer. Maybe that's a safety roll down. So the next guy would be our read. If they're blocking them, that guy would be our read. So right here, they're running some sort of inside zone that direction. Right here is the only double team. Double there up. But it's going to base, base. He's, this tackle is trying to B-gap sift right here. He looks like he's one of those guys that might be tight. That's what ends up happening right there. He ends up blocking the defensive end because he's so tight to that B gap. There's a good double team working up. Everybody else is based up. Not great here as far as the numbers for the run. There would be an unblocked backer, but right here, that's our read. So if you're watching it, he's saying, all right, should we throw it or, or run it? And right there, he just pops his feet. He doesn't go out to it. So a lot of times the coaching there, if I'm tagging the screen, I want to throw the screen unless he runs to it. So right there, I can get a completion, flip it out there to your guy. And again, this is Mims. This guy is an absolute freak. Get the ball in his hands, boom, easy catch. We're blocking right there, blocking right there. Now you got Mims and a linebacker that barely touches the guy and now running vertical right there for a big play. So again, getting the ball to your guy in space, just a little bit of hesitancy from the linebacker. And just that little bit of space is going to give our, your guy a chance to make a play. And that's what happens right there. Create an explosive play. Get into one of your best players. Let them go in space as many times as possible in a game. You'll be a lot more successful than if you just run the ball right there to the negative box. All right, last thing I'm going to show right here is just a double slant. Simple double slant here from mirrored size. Just slants right here from Oklahoma. And, and we'll see exactly what we're looking at. Stoops comes off. He, he kind of tempos it and he goes to the slant. He wins. They get a little blitz. Gabriel gets out of his hands, puts on his body. Pretty good gain right here on a third and six. They get exposed to play and they get a first down right here. The thing that was really interesting is if you're watching this corner right here, and I know their coaches are watching this corner as well, one, two, three, sticks it. His eyes are in the backfield on this drive, and he is driving at that upfield shoulder, not through the receiver. So right there, he's driving at a break point to where the ball would be, and he's not really playing this receiver. So... With that being said, this is play number seven that I have on there. The 216 on the clock right here is when this play was snapped and thrown. And right there, that's when they saw it. That guy's breaking at the wrong spot on these slants. We might be able to take advantage of that. So right here's a little bit odd to see. You can see they've got the split screen, but right here is the live look. 202 right there in the first. And you can see right here they're running a bit of a slant fade and take advantage of it. We'll see a better look of it here in just a second. Right here's the look again. Literally the next play, they're going slant. He's breaking on just like he did. Eyes in the backfield, just like the play before. If you saw something, don't pass it up, go for it. And now he's having a center field turn. Can't see the guy. Ball's already in the air. You're beat with an accurate ball. That's what it is right there. Puts it on him. Easy touchdown right there. Good job by the coaches in the box. Seeing that that guy on that slant was looking at the quarterback and now just fading that thing into this blind spot, taking advantage of a guy that's peeking in the backfield in the secondary, throwing touchdowns right there for Oklahoma.